God is calling this the month of move. Amy Rogers, Peoria, Illinois. The Lord has continually been showing me the church looking like the Israelites when they were in captivity. X 1 to 12. He's been showing me there have been so many people in this captive place, decreeing and declaring His words over themselves. They know the Lord is moving on their behalf and have been faithfully waiting for what has felt like a lifetime. Yet they are still stuck in this place, unable to move forward. This has been a difficult place to be, but it has been a place of preparation and removing long-standing hurts, offenses and chains from the past. Those who have not given up in the waiting, this is your set time. Clothed in new garments. You have been feasting on him and his words, like the Israelites did with the Passover lamb. In your obedience, you have been clothed in your cloaks with your sandals on your feet. The Lord is saying, you are no longer clothed for the past seasons but for the new one I'm leading you into. You are now dressed for your promised land. The move from captivity will be sudden. Trust his timing and not your ideas of it in this moment. Trust that he is moving you from the oppression of the past seasons. As you have feasted, he has healed you and made you whole. You are no longer walking on shaky legs and no longer walking on feet that will cause you to stumble, no. He has made you strong. He is also making the enemy pay back all that was stolen in seasons past. You will be weighed down with the wealth of Egypt, the enemy will be paying it all back with interest. Everything you should have held in the past, you will hold now. Now is the time. Postured for the promise. The Lord is reminding us to declare as Elisha did 2 kg 7 to 1, that, about this time tomorrow, it will not be as it has been. He is also reminding us to remain steadfast like Elijah and, to go and look again, 1 kg 1843. Keep your eyes toward heaven and you will see those long-awaited promises begin to form like a cloud the size of a man's hand. What you have seen in the spirit, you already have possession of. It may be off in the distance, but it is yours. It is coming. Photo via Unsplash. As we move from our captive places with our praise and rejoicing, let us not forget to recount his faithfulness in our past seasons, do, 8. We can be at the crossover place, that final step taking us into our promised land, and yet forget the journey and places the Lord has brought us through. It can be easy to quickly forget those hard places as we step into our miracle. Let's remain postured in the exciting places the same way we are postured in the difficult ones. After the death of Moses the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua son of Nun, Moses' aid, Moses my servant is dead. Now then, you and all these people, get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give to them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 to 3 Niv. I propose that you view this scripture above as such, Moses as the representative of the old you, the old, captive places you previously resided. Those things are now dead. You are new in this new season and place, but the promises of God were given to you in those old places. And even though you are walking in the now, our faithful Lord and Father is fulfilling those promises he made back there. This is why we need to remain postured, recounting his faithfulness in all the places, because I promise you, as exciting as it may be stepping into this new, fulfilled promised land, you have only seen in part and there is going to be more to this journey. If we can't remain postured and surrendered in his presence, we will struggle once again. Joshua told the people, Consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you, see, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth will go into the Jordan ahead of you. Now the Jordan is at flood stage all during harvest. Yet as soon as the priests who carried the Ark reached the Jordan and their feet touched the water's edge, the water from upstream stopped flowing. It piled up in a heap, so the people crossed over opposite Jericho, crossing on dry ground. Joshua chapter 3 verses 5, 11, 15 to 17 Niv. The first miraculous river splitting was with the Red Sea, providing a way for the Israelites to escape their oppressors. This second river splitting miracle provided a way for them to walk into their promised land. A memorial to the Lord. In Joshua chapter 4, the Lord gives instructions to take twelve stones, representative of the twelve tribes, and for the people to build a memorial for themselves and generations to come. We cannot forget these moves of God, whether they are big or small in our eyes. Any move of God is worthy of our attention and praise. Photo via Pixabay. Some moments are for all to see, but most are just for you and the Lord. The Lord says, Come. Come and sit at my side. Listen to my whispers over you, listen to my heart beat for you. I'm looking for my remnant who know me beyond my miraculous nature, those that truly love to sit with me, talk with me, be my friend. Let him smother me with kisses, his spirit kiss divine. So kind are your caresses, I drink them in like the sweetest wine. Your presence releases a fragrance so pleasing, over and over poured out. For your lovely name is flowing oil. Draw me into your heart. Song 1 to 2 minus 4 TPT. Listen, my radiant one, if you ever lose sight of me, just follow in my footsteps where I lead my lovers. Come with your burdens and cares. Come to the place near the sanctuary of my shepherds. Song 1 to 8 TPT. 
Listen, I hear my lover's voice. I know it's him coming to me, leaping with joy over mountains, skipping in love over the hills that separate us, to come to me. Song 2 to 8 TPT. Asterisk please don't miss our emerging and newly found prophets. Subscribe here. Amy Rogers Raw and Real Ministries email, rawandrealministries at gmail.com website, rawandrealministries.com. Amy Rogers is a lover of Jesus Christ, a wife and mother of four who operates in the gift of the prophetic, processing life through her writing. Having lived through many triumphs and tragedies she has been gifted with plenty of humility and some wisdom. Amy has been moved to share her journey with absolute transparency. She is compelled to show others the redemptive, restorative and healing power of Jesus through encouragement, prophetic words and his healing touch. Her mission is to speak his life and his love, inviting others to hear the Lord's heartbeat for them. To receive more words like this in your inbox, subscribe free to the Elijah List at this link https colon slash slash elijahlist.com slash subscribe.